So Brooklyn lied about her child's paternity a second time. Why not? Well, where do I start? She's a proven liar. Detective Chase has a reputation for being a stand-up guy. Why would he go along with it? Would be a relevant question, considering initially she kept him in the dark about being her daughter's father. One would expect him to be more protective of his legal rights. No, no, that's not what I mean. Chase and Brooklyn are close. Brooklyn is a liar. Chase has a reputation for being a stand-up guy. Why would he go along with her lie? Because he's her friend. Maybe he defines friendship differently than you do. And speaking of friends, Maxie Jones, that's another upstanding citizen who's awfully supportive of Brooklyn. Valentine, now you're spinning. First Chase, now Maxie? I mean, come on, it's one thing to have friends, it's another for a whole herd of people to be willing to aid in a better friend's lie. Maxie and Chase, something does not fit. No, no, you've got things mixed up. Look, Austin, I know that you want to help, but you're remembering things that didn't happen. I wasn't talking to anyone that night. I, I was too weak after giving birth and being overpowered by that nurse that Peter hired to kidnap me. Max, I heard your voice. Please stop lying to me. And how exactly do you intend to hold up your end of the bargain? If I find Louise for you, you'll give me the information I need on Drew Kane. Exactly. And then Maxie will return to me, and she and Louise and I will be a family as we were meant to be. What are you telling me you found my daughter? She's been here in plain sight the entire time, living with the Quartermains under the name of Bailey.